have to educate architects, engineers, developers, and contractors. You have to start educating them uh, about the uh, uh, green movement, the environmental movement in regards to construction. And, and that means, <coughs> excuse me, that means uh, dealing with debris, uh, taking debris and tearing the building down, taking the debris away, the way. what you're doing with that is very important. We have a plan that, that we call now Columbia 2010, which has been the plan that we've used to guide us in the direction over the past years. And as we look at that plan, we're almost at the end of it, but we're changing it a bit because there have been some committee, committees that have been working on sustainability. And that task force, which has some 40 students, staff, faculty, have created a master plan for us. And as we look toward our next long-term strategic plan, which we're calling Columbia 2015, it's going to be much greener than we would have imagined, imagined our 2010. We've talked about LEED certification. We've had a new building that just received that. Jeannie Gang, who's our, who's our architect of our new building, is building really a fabulously green building, and uh, not green in color, but green in, in purpose, and clearly it's the kind of thing that, that, that we want to have on this campus. Good environmental policy, 100% of the time, is identical to good economic policy. If we want to measure the economy, and this is how we ought to be measuring it, based upon how it produces jobs and the dignity of jobs over the generations, over the long term, and how it preserves the value of the assets of our community. I'm reporting on a federal study, a new federal study, that shows that every single fish in America, every freshwater fish now is contaminated with mercury. Every one. They, did, they tested 300 lakes, rivers, and streams. Every fish that they tested had dangerous levels of mercury in it. They're coming from the coal burning power plants. According to CDC, one out of every six American women now has so much mercury in her womb <coughs> that her children are at risk for grim inventory of diseases, autism, blindness, mental retardation, heart, liver, and kidney disease, coming from eating those fish. Well, what polluters do is they make themselves rich by making everybody else poor. They raise standards of living for themselves by lowering quality of life for everybody else. And they do that by escaping the discipline of the free market. You show me a polluter, I'll show you a subsidy. I'll show you a fat cat using political clout to escape the discipline of the free market and force the public to pay his production costs. That's what all pollution is. If, if we just had 10% of the entire freight being shipped today, we'd exceed over a billion dollars a year, in, uh, me, a billion gallons a year of fuel saved. A billion gallons <coughs> just by putting 10 more percent on the rail work with Norfolk Southern, there wasn't room to add one more train. We could not add any trains coming in. So we have part of that Chicago terminal project, $150 million, is to solve problems from Gary to Chicago. Chicago uh, up to Roundout in the Milwaukee quarter, then Chicago to, Dw to Dwight. Very, there are choke points in there. Metro uses that, so we, we have to put more infrastructure within that Chicago terminal limits. Um, that the best way to build a new 220 mile hour line is to go down via Champaign and then across through Decatur, which puts Decatur on the map, which isn't today, over into Springfield, um, a collection of old rights of way and now bike paths. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Rob Sadowski is new writer. Uh, to come into St. Louis in a different direction. And you end up with an hour and 52 minute trip between those two cities. Planning. Um, we're working with uh, RTA, uh, is about to get a CMAC grant to blow out their trip planning uh, to include walking, uh, more walking and biking, uh, and also uh, a Facebook style social networking to encourage people to uh, challenge each other around walking and biking. Uh, Google's, Google just announced, I think, yesterday. Uh,